is all charged up. And we'll What is up guys, Radjad 1988 here. So we're gonna take the Suron out. It's such a beautiful day. Take the Suron out, I'm actually gonna go get a haircut. Probably mess around a little bit on the way. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Such a beautiful day here, Southern California. We've been like recovering from um, the rain. get there without causing uh, or calling too much attention to us. I don't think I put my helmet strap on right. Alright, strap my helmet. Let's go. This thing, on a full battery, man, this thing pulls a lot harder than like if it's like at 80 or 70 percent 47 47 48 49 49 uh-oh shit Not paying attention to them, I was looking more at the how fast I was going. I gotta be careful. Yeah, man, such a beautiful day. It's not even that cold. It's probably like 65 to maybe barely 70. I'm actually wearing shorts, but I got a sweater on. It's not bad, actually. So cool. I'm looking forward to spring and summer get out more with the bike. I always want to get in the turning lane, but I think I'm more hesitant with this than I am like my super. I, I've gotten the turning lane with, with my super, but not my Suron. It's just... I don't even want to push the button, I'll just wait my turn. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit more confident, like, that I really won't get noticed that much with my, um, with my Super. With the Suron, I'm kind of like, I'm still kind of worried about it. I think it's just the fact that it doesn't have pedals, it's just like pegs, so, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But yeah, super nice day today. I'm over this rain. It's been crazy here in Southern California. Like literally like snowing, um, like blizzard a couple days. Um, it's just been crazy. But you know what? It snowed over here in the last couple years. I think it snowed last year and the year before that. So, but I think um, like just a, like, like last week or two weeks ago, it was like a full blown blizzard over here. It was crazy. Especially here in Southern California. But anyways. So right now we're going over to get a haircut. Maybe go to the store. Just gonna just chill. Just go to the store. Right. Stay in my lane. Just don't wanna bring attention to myself, you know? Just don't mind me and just the bike. But Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys know any good leaks uh, to look at like fake pedals because I honestly think I want to put some on just so like I'll it'll look more like a bike you know so I don't know I know that there's a few that I've seen but I'm not sure the actual name and whatnot of them so but if you guys know any um, you know, message me or uh, drop a link in the comments. I definitely want to invest in something like that. It, especially when I start going on ride outs and stuff like that, you know? But anyways, 
I hit, I, I think I'm up to like 150 subscribers. So again, thank you guys. I appreciate it. You know, I definitely want to, I definitely want to get some more writing videos in. I just, I haven't been able to just work, you know, and family life, you know. Um, so today is going to be my only day off for the next seven days. So I actually picked up a lot of overtime. So, um, you know, I, I was going to drive my truck here, but I said, no, I'd rather just take the sur on. You know, I, I barely have a hundred miles. Oh, actually a hundred and one now, but man. I know people, because uh, I've had this bike since early December, and I know that uh, people put a lot of miles on these things. So, you know, I'm I'm definitely behind on that. I can tell you. All right, let's go. a little nervous right here because there's a there's literally a higher patrol station like right behind this bank and people kind of just people just don't care here uh i've seen like so many accidents at this intersection right here um it, it's, especially people like blocking the intersection um it's crazy right here this intersection is like really messed up but let's see No one's really looking at the Suron though, so maybe it's just me. Look at that guy right there. That guy's living. Got a van, camper van, pulling a boat. See, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to probably navigate through this, I think. I'm almost late for my appointment for my haircut, but see, there we go. I'm talking about. I don't, I don't even know if I can even cross. I, I can't even see the sign. I don't know. This guy's going. Oh, no, this guy. Sorry, people. should have waited. <laughs> that lady was like, what the hell are you doing? I can squeeze through. I think it should be fine. <clears throat> nah. I mean, I should just put it in the back. I have a helmet and everything. Fuck. Alright, yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the back. I'm just still worried about leaving this thing out like that. I mean, it's barely outside the store, but. Don't want to risk it. 
salon 10f I never know I think it might be this one I think it might be 10e is it 10e I think it's 10e all right guys just got done with the haircut looking good Feeling good. All right. Didn't really uh, get to sit down and relax and draw my haircut because this bike was just out here, but nevertheless. All right. Let's go back home. <laughs> this thing puts a smile on my face every single time I get on. Sorry. That's my fault right there. Let's see what's over here. Oh, it's like a little back street. Huh. Let's go see what's over here. Never been over here. Huh. Just a minute. Ah. Leads to nowhere. <laughs> Just leads down the street. Alright. Let's go back. It's like You know, for me being uh, 260, man, the suspension really soaks everything up. Um, I pumped it up to spec. Um, mine has the uh, the KKE. Uh, works good. You know, you're not riding on a pillow, but to me, I think this soaks up the bumps pretty good, especially for being my weight. You know. So, anyway, let's go this way. Here, cut across. Let's go. So before we leave, I wanted to take a moment and so the plan for my dirt bike um, so obviously I use it to go on trails I take it to Glamis still currently has a paddle tire on it actually I have a trickle charger on it um, I was actually thinking um, the next few months um, doing a supermoto conversion on it so in order for me to do that obviously I need to I was looking at the warp 9 setup the warp 9 wheels front and rear and actually going through dirtlegal.com to get it registered and get it plated so I can take it out on the streets. You know, I love my Saron, don't get me wrong, I love it, love it, love it. But I would love to be able to use this dirt bike a lot more than what I do now. Um, so obviously, you know, wheel, 
wheel and tire changes. Um, I believe you need. I, I would need a, probably a bigger rotor for the front, and maybe going with a smaller, um, like the SMR, or I think even the 85 um, uh, plastic. So a little bit smaller, make it look a little bit more um, smaller. Just you know, because you don't want this. I, you know, I personally wouldn't want such a huge thing for a smaller wheel. Um, but uh, that is in the in the in the plan this year. I do want to take this out. I haven't really spoke about it on my channel too much. Uh, but this is my 2022 KTM. It's a 250 SXF. Um, and as you. I don't know if you may know here in California, anything 22 and newer is unregisterable, unregisterable. So no, there's no longer a green sticker, red sticker. These are just for private track only. So that's the dilemma that I'm in. So that's why I'm gonna have to go through dirtlegal.com and be able to um, plate it and be able still to enjoy it without having to worry about Rangers, anything like that. So that's, currently on thing and obviously else my other bikes but yeah so i just wanted to kind of give an update on that um definitely want to get this more out on the channel it's starting to heat up a little bit more so i will be taking it out a little bit as i do just around the neighborhood so stay tuned for that